I went to meditation last night. And I was telling Anthony, then you turn your phone on after a couple hours, and man, the whole world changes. You're like, you oh. turn off your phone for two lousy hours and, and don't even don't have really much human contact with anyone, and you turn that phone back on two hours later, there's always yeah. some some treat waiting for what you. What happened? That's what I was saying. Yeah. My Twitter exploded for real. Uh, the, the tweets were unbelievable. Everyone's like, oh my God, did you see the black guy, the eyewitness out of Cleveland? Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is going on in Cleveland? So I started reading Twitter, you know, longer. You don't know what's going on? No. <laughs> Jimmy doesn't know girls? what's going on in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I just read that story. It's um, absolutely amazing. These three This broads. all went down at 8 o'clock last night. <clears throat> They've been in a house basically chained up for 10 years in Cleveland. This uh, this happens every so often. You get these stories of these women uh, that were abducted, mm. and then years later, uh, they, they find them somehow um, alive. One has a kid, so oh. apparently she had a child during the two kids. Well, I know, I know. So, she had a, a six-year-old and, uh, and, uh, and an right. infant. Well, they've been wow. missing for ten years. And she then, had two kids with the asshole that fucking right captured. Well, her. here's what, guys, right? when the stories come out, uh, you'll find out like th that they they had the opportunity at some point in these ten years to get away, mm. and somehow they just uh, you know didn't. I don't know. That phone call sounded like she was excited to be out. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're always excited once they do finally get their freedom. But but in the interim, there's always these stories of like, well, they sent me to the store once, so I went and I got some milk and came back. It's like, why didn't you fucking run? <sighs> they said they would do things. Like, it's always some weird well, fucking well, thing. Well, psychological. Going. Yeah, of course. And the girls were young when they were abducted, yeah. right? How old 14, were they? 14? 16, and 21. So, so now they're 24, 26, 31. A decade of your life. In a, t in a small house with, with your neighbors very close. Three yeah. men have been arrested. Three. Oh, now it's up to three men. Yeah, it's a that three I didn't, Hispanic I didn't men know. have been arrested. So I, I don't know what kind of, if it was a Spanish neighborhood or if they were. The it looks like Spanish it's a Spanish right? neighborhood. España. Didn't he have a Puerto Rican flag right on his, uh, right really? on his front porch there? Oh, yeah. Man. Fucking. Ten years, man. A decade of your life. And the, the saddest part, the uh, the one of the women that were was abducted, her mom died. Oh. Her mom two, died in 2006. With, and they all say, say, with a broken heart. It was like, the stress of her daughter being missing. So. Two years after her daughter was missing, the mom died, and they all said, from a broken heart. So she's got to deal with that. Mm. Yeah, because she's probably you know, running out of the house, can't wait to see mommy. Oh, and, I can't oh, wait to see. Oh, mommy died eight years ago. Whoops. Fucking, these guys should be executed. Ah, they, yeah. Bah. Executed. Yeah, they'll have a nice life in prison. It'll be easy. Oh, they'll yeah. get to watch Homeland and shit. They'll have lawyers that'll say, no, this, all these girls, they stayed voluntarily. It was great. Look, they could have left. But they didn't. Oh, stop. They're, but, and they had a kid with the guy. Oh, gee. They, yeah. You don't know who's... It's like, it's like that guy who kidnapped his daughter or whatever, and the wife had no idea, and she was 20 years yeah. downstairs. I guess you... Joseph Fritzel? Or whatever Fritzel, yeah. Mm. You just don't know when the guy's home. Uh, th there was a case of a guy who was kidnapping. He was, he was a gay serial killer, and he was hitting men over the head, and he would tie them up and torture them. And there was one guy who he fucking, like, gave the remote to watch television to. And uh, he would keep you for a week, two weeks, just torture, rape you, and then oh, kill you. He was a fucking geez. bad dude. And then uh, the guy got out of the, the, the ties and was going to escape, but he just didn't know if the guy was home. Like, he had no idea. The guy left. Was he here? And he wound up going out. Like, he, just, he escaped through the roof, and the guy was out at the time. But it's like, what was he watching on the television? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently, the Nielsen ratings had just come in. It's funny you ask, Larry. Yeah, yeah. But like, that's the problem: is you don't know if they're home. So the one shot you take, you're afraid that they'll be home and kill. Because he thought he was going to be, but he knew he'd probably be killed if he didn't. Oh, yeah. So he wound up getting away. Wow! And they got this guy. Where was he out of? Three, uh, uh, I forget where I he. Never was. heard of this uh, creep. Uh, he got. You know how I got to him? Remember we were looking at pictures of victims, their last pictures taken. Mm. Oh yeah. One of the guys that was tied up, I thought was so chilling that I investigated the guy who did it, and the guy who did it had killed a bunch of people mm. and wound up going to prison and dying in prison. Oh. How many did he kill in the end? No man. Let's see. Jimmy knows six. his serial killer. I, shit. I don't remember this guy's name though. Is that him? That's the guy. Oh, God. Mm, I don't believe so. No. Uh, then we won't say Believe it or name. not, there's more than one gay serial killer. Oh, Randy oh. Kraft was a fucking, was a doozy. What did he California? do? California. Well, I think they said he killed like 60 people. 
He would tie guys up oh. and he would torture their nipples with the cigarette lighters from a car. He would torture their cocks with like fucking br brand. He would put sticks in their Ooh. cock holes. Yeah, he was Ooh. a naughty boy. He liked he liked men though. He didn't like kids. He was a. Uh, What's that all about? I do. I Why do you want to stick to something in a guy's pee hole? He would pick guys up hitchhiking, like Marines and shit, like real men, and uh, like you know he he went and he would drug the drink and give him a drink. Oh man! And that's how he got busted. He got pulled over and he had a fucking guy in his car, his passenger seat, and the cop walked over. And, and and Randy get out of the car to meet the cop halfway. Ah, uh, that's yeah. always a sign. But he right? had a dead guy in the car. He had to do something. <laughs> right, 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 man. And, and the guy's pants were like askew, or like there was something about the or, or Randy's pants. The cop just of course smelled the rat and then nailed him. That's how Bundy got busted. He had a fucking he got pulled over. These guys yeah. always get pulled over. Well, why don't you go ten and two when you have a dead body really? in the car? Be a very responsible what, what, light or something. What, 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 what do they get Ted Bundy on? Are doing ten and two and don't get caught. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but what, how did they pull uh, Ted Bundy over for what? He had escaped. I mean, he just he was in Florida. No, he had his car. I don't. I, I honestly, I might have just been a small moving violation. But he had. I think the cop noticed he had no passenger seat. Right. And there were some kind of tools. Um, you but know, you don't know what the initial pullover was. No, I mean it might have been a red light or something. Yeah, he was, failed to pull over for a routine traffic stop. Uh, yeah, routine, just routine. Yeah, it might have just uh, been a signal. Officer, just bad luck. The officer noting that the Volkswagen's front passenger seat was missing, searched his car, found a ski mask, second so if, mask. So if they didn't have the routine uh, checkpoint, he would have been on his way. Was well, it a gotten, routine traffic stop? Could have been anything. It might have just been he ran a yellow. They've gotten so many fucking people through oh, I shit like see. that. Yeah. You look at um, Son of Sam. They got him on a fucking parking ticket. Yeah. They got um, McVeigh was pulled over. Um, I guess... Before, yeah, before the uh, bombing. Oh, it was before it, okay. And, and they figured something out. Wasn't it before no. or was it after? No, it was, oh, it was after because he was in jail. Right. Yep, he had arrested yep. on a warrant. Right, right. It was after the bombing. Yeah, those little fucking weird turn of events that happened. A little uh, luck. Afterwards. Yeah. A little luck. That's the luck factor. So we go back to Cleveland. The three Cleveland women found alive after 10 years. That's amazing. In this uh, <laughs> creep's house. It, uh, uh, yeah, they showed the street. The houses were on top of each yeah. other. Yeah. Oh. So uh, obviously more is going to come out today and tomorrow. The first three days of a story like this are where you get all your, all your info, all the good stuff. Yeah, and they'll pull out all the fucking uh, the uh, news celebrities that this has happened to. That's smart. What's her name? Amanda. I mean, uh, Elizabeth Smart. Elizabeth, Elizabeth smart. smart. What was she missing for a year or less than that? She was missing for longer than that, I think. Was she? What about the yeah. other one that was a couple years ago? Where wasn't that a long, long time? And she had uh, there was one. Yeah, there was one who was like twenty years or something. It was twenty years, right? Yep. And she ended up having a kid or two with that guy. She yeah. was living in a in a in a, a little structure behind the guy's outside house. shed. Yeah, outside in the yard, kind of thing. I guess you can never give up for that reason. Like, and I, I'm guessing what happens is after a while, you're probably chained up miserably for a while. And then you get these little comforts, like maybe they take the gag off, or maybe, and then you're afraid if you scream, uh, back it's going to be right fucking, back to yeah. a fucking gas rag in your mouth or whatever. So. But this guy was having barbecues with his neighbors. Was he? It was. Yes. I thought it was a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest lady ever. What, yeah, we got some audio. He was having barbecues? Yeah, man, with the black guy that, that saved the, the broad. Wait, it's, is that how they got caught after a barbecue? No, oh. I, I, I'm still confused. Like, she was trying to get out of the house? Yeah, I guess. And the, this black yeah. guy uh, well, uh, he, saw and he heard the commotion? Yeah, he explains it. Yeah, because the houses are so close, and he, and he sees his, uh, what, which one was trying to get out. Uh, Amanda Barry. Do we Barry, have the, Amanda uh, Barry? Right? Do we have Amanda's? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, call we got her right? chilling nine one one call. The oh. Chilling nine one one call. She's fucking trying to get out of this house desperately, and then the black guy sees the commotion and goes and helps her. She was kicking at the door, and uh, the door was chained, I guess, and she got an arm out, and she was kind of like fussing and kicking, and her her arm was hanging out the door, and that's when the black guy saw that and like kicked the door down and. Uh, well, he was the enjoying. Three guys are apparently brothers. He was enjoying his McDonald's, wasn't he? Yeah, well, of course. He was enjoying his McDonald's. Heard the commotion, came outside. I wonder if that was the first time <clears throat> she got upstairs, or, or how, well, I'm sure they'll all come yeah, out. Yeah. Believe me, there's a book and a movie in this. Oh, they're yes. they're bringing in the dogs today, so they, see if there's any more. They have some suspicions because oh. there's some other, uh, you know, he might, they might girls be or women be missing in the area. All these Christmases and fucking Thanksgivings, these fucking cocksuckers, man. Imagine if they were just having the best time inside, treating <laughs> them all nicely. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were all mad that the cops came. Like, what yeah. are you guys doing? You're ruining the party. <laughs> Be nice tits. 
Yeah, they're going to be all fucked up psychologically, huh? Yeah. The one in the middle is Amanda Berry. Yeah. Uh, That's Amanda Berry. The one on the left is her sister. Yeah. And this is, this is recently, right? And that was last night. Yeah, first, she's still yeah. young. She's 27, 17 when she was taken. 14 and 24. From a Burger King restaurant that you she worked at. You still have your whole life, but 21 or 31, it's like you just lost a decade. Yeah, you got your whole life. life with extreme psychological yeah, issues. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That will haunt you at night, no matter how much therapy you get. Fucking terrible. Well, your prime Anthony dating years are gone. Oh, please. Well, they were almost done before they got kidnapped anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they were at the tail end of it? Yeah, the 21-year-old was over there. She was old dad. <laughs> old dad. She knew where not to look. <laughs> so anyway, she gets out after clawing her way through the front door, and then the black guy helps her. And uh, this is her 911 call. Ooh. This is the long version. The news is only playing, you know, a quick yeah. uh, snippet. What's interesting, she's like, help me, I'm Amanda Berry. She knew that she was pretty yeah. fucking famous yeah. in that area. It's Amanda, Amanda Berry. <laughs> <laughs> she probably saw all the stories on TV. Yeah, like, yeah. holy yeah. fuck, I'm famous in this area. She, she says in the clip, she's like, I've been on the news. Oh, she, so, yeah. wow. so she must have seen that. She How horrific exactly. is that, seeing news stories oh, of, man. of yourself on on well, TV. The thing that bothers me about this clip is if you, it, as it goes on, the, the 911 operator, I don't think, understands who she is. Of course not. She, she's starting to get like really annoyed, like, all right, just stay there. The cops right. are coming. Oh, like, uh, yeah, but, but the 911 operators, they, they know everything. They told him to stand down. They told George Zimmerman to stand down. Shut up. 911 operator, but please. Those, I used to get mad at coffee for the men. I used to get mad at the op the 911 operators, but as soon as the call comes in, they're you know they're on it, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's just her job to kind of get the info as the cops right. are already doing their thing. I assume these are the same people that get the calls that say. My, there's not enough cheese on my Whopper. Right, right, right. So they have to weed through a lot of fucking wackos, too. <laughs> That's a rough job. As soon as they hear a panic uh, like that, I, I just yeah. assume they're already on their way, and it's just the operator talking them through yep. basic info at that point. Police, fire, ambulance. Like, the first thing, what do you, like, yeah. enough shit. I hope that's how it works. Because yeah. <laughs> if, it if it's not that way, then this is You'll bad. you on the clip, she's like, all right, yeah, we'll get somebody as soon as we have a car available. Oh, yeah, no, uh, car, car open, she says. Yeah, yeah well, well, Meaning they're busy with other shit. They're <laughs> kitty up a tree, you yeah. fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. In the car. Do you understand? I'm Amanda Berry. Seymour Butts. Get it? I can't hear you. It looks like you were calling me from 2210 Seymour. Yeah, I'm across the street. I'm using the phone. Okay, stay there with those neighbors. Talk to the police when they get there. Okay. Uh, Why would you stay across the street? Yeah, with the neighbors. With yeah, but yeah. fuck that. Look how close these houses are. I'm going to run. If all of a sudden the, 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 if the Hispanic comes out that front door looking oh, for man. his catch. Yeah. I'll Who knows it. what he's capable of doing? I, Fuck that. Another thing you could do in times like that, too, is if they say, say, call the fire department, too. Get them both there. Oh, yeah. If the fire department comes, those big, loud-ass trucks. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing worse when you're doing something wrong than <laughs> fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's my Edgar repellent. <laughs> Edgar hates that. Okay, stay there with those neighbors. Talk to the police when they get there. Okay. Okay, talk to the police when they get there. Okay. Hello? Yeah, talk to the police Stop when they whining. get there. Okay, I'm going to leave right now. We're going to get a sound as soon as we get a car open. No, I need them now before we get the back. All right, we're sending them, okay? Okay, I mean, like, who's right the guy? Now? Who's the guy you're, uh, trying? who's the guy who went out? Um, his name is Ariel Castro. All right, how old is he? Uh, he's like 52. All right, and, uh. Steven, I'm Amanda Berry. I've been on the news for the last 10 years. Okay, I got, I got that here. I already. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you said, what was his name again? Uh, Ariel Castro. And is he white, black, or Hispanic? I ain't Hispanic. And what's he wearing? I don't know, because he's not here right now. That's when, he left, got away. When, when he left, what was he wearing? Two yards of face. What? 
Great. The police are on the way. Talk to them okay. when they get there. Okay. Well, I need. Okay. I told you they're on the way. Talk to them when they get there. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Wow. Fucking Wait, chilling. Wait. Hold on. Did that did that nine one one operator actually get off the phone with her? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? What a dumb fuck. You stay on the fucking phone. Didn't know you got shit. you got somebody who's been missing for ten years, and this dumb motherfucker yeah, yeah. is going. Uh, talk well, to them when they get there. Yeah. Well, uh, he sees other calls coming in. But the, yeah, that's but, true. But, but no. But no, still, no. this is one you say fuck everything. I got to stay wow. on the line with and this one. And you don't this know girl. at that point what the situation is. Of you course. don't know if she's still in danger or something. You stay on the fucking. You don't phone. know where the guy went to after he left that his house. He could have just been, you know, borrowing something from a neighbor. Who knows? Yeah, what a dummy. Yeah, he was a walked down the street. Walked his dog. I don't know. That, is that chilling or what? Yeah. That's she's just expecting wild. everything to just, you know, yeah, yeah. be there for her immediately, and she still has to explain herself. Yeah, well, eh, got to free up a car. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like about lunchtime. Um, so, what was he wearing for 10 years? Give me every fucking little costume change. <laughs> you know, Sylvia Brown. The old uh, lady psychic yeah. that's very oh, creepy yeah. when she talks. Yes. she. I think she was on Montel Williams, I want to say. And she told, I think it's Amanda Berry's mom, that, that Amanda Berry was dead. She did her little reading on Montel Williams and said, I'm sorry to tell you. Oh, but, did she? Uh, but your daughter is dead. She had a 50-50 shot of getting it right. No kids. Yeah, exactly. The kid's alive, the kid's dead. There were a lot of people that believed in Sylvia Brown, but she's she's had some... Please. Some fucking bad ones. Has she? Oh, yeah. I know Can you find name. that clip? It might be online there. Montel oh. Williams, Sylvia Brown. That was a great bullshit, um, Penn and Teller bullshit episode yes. on the psychic fucking, uh, psychics hel helping the cops and stuff and how it just doesn't fucking work. Right. <clears throat> Never has. Maybe put Barry in, too, to see uh, Psychic Gets Busted. Yeah, no, we played that one in the past. Oof. That's the famous one. But I happen to believe... If someone has a oh, link to this, that would be great. You take all your negativity and you carry it under your hat, I happen to believe. <laughs> Good psychic. Carry it under your hat. Yeah, you take your negativity to the bank. <clears throat> this fucking neighbor, the black guy. Yeah, we're about uh, to play his shit. You mean uh, New Orleans looter? Yeah, the looter. Ah. He does look just like the Heineken looter. From... He looks like the guy from New Orleans. Katrina. Oh, God. And, um... <laughs> Boy, the the media loves the Black Witness. <laughs> the Black Witness is the best fucking thing. Charles mm -hmm. Ramsey's name is. Yeah, it's the greatest invention ever. Ah, oh. the local news just search out any black person in the area. Yeah, when these big stories go down. Well, the well, the white reporter that was talking to him that I saw last night, uh, mm. he was loving it. He's got the mic in his face. He's asking him questions because it's all gold. And then he said something to the effect of, "Well, you know." You know there's trouble when a white woman runs right. into the arms of a black man. <laughs> right. He goes, because that just don't happen. And you saw the white reporter at that point. He's like, blah, blah. well, thank you very much. He couldn't get away All from panicky. The, 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 the potential racial fucking problem he was running the into. racial angle? Yeah, yeah. A scared whitey. Oh, don't talk like that. Oh, I got to run away. Uh, what do you got there, Travis? I just keep, I'm, I'm reading updates about this story on Gawker, and the suspect's son... Is a journalist, and he wrote about this case in in 2004. He must have had an amazing angle. Yeah, <laughs> he had no yeah. idea, huh? No idea. He had wow. no idea that his father was the guy. Come on. I, uh, well, this, who knows? Maybe they were strange. Yeah, this yeah, is gonna be some shit that comes out. Yeah, this is gonna get if really you're not, interesting. If you're not with the guy, like, how, yeah, how do right. you know what's going on? I think my father's been kidnapping people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's really weird. I'm like, what have you been doing, Dad? He goes, oh, nothing. I'm just digging in the yard. I'll call you later. <laughs> <laughs> I think they find dead bodies today. I think they find a, a body or two in that backyard. Thanks. Yeah, I think so. Maybe a couple uh, that they caught that weren't cooperative. Real cast. Uh, here's the eyewitness that. That helped uh, Amanda Berry get out of the house, the black guy that everyone's talking about today. Hey, Charles, Charles let me talk to you. I'm talking with Charles Ramsey. He's a neighbor. Uh, t walk me through again what happened this afternoon. You're, you, you heard screaming. I heard screaming. I meet my McDonald's. I uh, come outside. I see this girl going nuts trying to get out of a house. So I go on the porch. I go on the porch, and she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long time. So, you know, I figured it's a, a domestic violence dispute. So I open the door and 
we can't get in that way because how the door is, it's so much that the body can't fit through, only your hand. So we could kick the bottom. And she comes out with the little girl and she says, call 911. My name was Amanda Berry. Now, did you know who that was when you when she said that? When she told me it didn't register until I got the call in 911. And then I'm like, I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry? I thought this girl was dead. You know what I mean? And and she got on the phone and she said, yes, this is me. And the detective, uh, Cook, Cook, right here, Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? I said, oh. I said, now and when, did you, see, when did you see when did you see great the best about, part is when there's like a cop sound right. oh yeah his immediate he went from <laughs> he went from helpful witness on the news to I'm a black guy in Cleveland and I just heard a police <laughs> yes. noise that that siren <laughs> that you just heard in the background he stopped and his eyes opened. He turned his head like he snapped oh, his neck. He was ready to run. Right. He, goes, see that again? he was like right. Pavlov's dog. He was thinking, "What the hell did I do?" Yeah. Shit. You, want to, you want to just play from here? No, yeah. Know what that means? He's really guilty. Oh, he's got warrants. He's, oh, he's like, got some warrants. <laughs> I bet you this turns out bad for the poor guy. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna. You're they gonna hear the... <laughs> And uh, on a side note, right. you might remember Mr. Ramsey who. Did the interview. He is now in prison. Because there's never a fucking Hollywood ending. No. Man. The, no. The, 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 there's always a twist. All the shit always ends up bad. He's our hero today, but they're going to oh, get him on yeah. something. <laughs> the, the look he gave. <laughs> that means he's scared. He of stopped something in his, his tracks. He stopped. His eyes got real wide, and he turned his head like, oh, shit. I say it now. He, they're going to get him on something, something, unfortunately. Which makes this a, a shitty ending again. <laughs> Cook, right here. Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? I said, <laughs> <laughs> When did you see <laughs> Oh, that's the He's one. like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. That look he gives to the oh, left. Oh, my God. It's perfect. Oh, fuck. Cook, Cook. Right here. Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? I said, <laughs> I, can't, I can't get enough of that. It's fucking. It's faces. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these staring. Oh, oh man, that's a guy oh. with warrants. Yeah, he's oh, like, oh, you got to be shitting me. Because oh. I think he's only been in the neighborhood a year. Oh, is so he? he wow. Is, oh, my he's God. He's probably hiding from some dumb thing. I don't even think it's that bad of a charge, but oh my God. something he's going to have to deal with in the next oh, yeah. couple of weeks. Mark our word. Yes, yes. That look is not the look of a guy. It's going to be. Remember, to Charles. Yeah. The girl, Charles the girl, Ramsey. The girl, the well, I said, now, and when did you see? When did you see Gina? About 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 five. Good. So about five minutes after the police got here, the see, police. The girl Amanda told the police. I ain't just the only one. It's some more girls up in that house. It's so they went up there, you know, 30, 40 deep. And when they came out, it was just astonishing. Because I thought they were going to come up with nothing. I figured, I mean, whoever she was, and like I say, my neighbor, uh, you, you got you got the, some big testicles to pull this off, bro. Because we see this dude every day. I mean, every day. How long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You still come up, bro? Right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot. Of this is salsa music. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. And you had no indication that there was anything hey, going on? bro, not a clue that that girl w was in that house. Or anybody else was in there against their will. Because how he is, is I, he just comes out to his backyard, plays with the dogs, tinker with his cars and motorcycles, goes back in the house. So he's somebody that you look and you look away because he's not doing nothing but the, the average stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's nothing exciting about him. Well, until today. <laughs> There's passion on the girls' faces. I can't imagine to see the sunlight to be around. Bro, I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arm. <laughs> something's wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you very much for your time. Away fast fast enough now. Yeah. Dead giveaway. Dead, uh, dead giveaway. Like, why would you walk away from him at that point? He's the guy you want to Because he's talk smart. Because I would have gotten fired trying to be funny. I would have said, like, yeah, well, those are some of my favorite pornos. Huh? Uh, huh? What? Nothing. What? Nothing, sir. Ha ha! Good point. Good point. Yeah. She homeless or she got problems? That's the only reason why she run to a black man. Charles, thank, 
Thank you for being there, man. Charles I'm Ramsey, reporter, neighbor, uh, uh, heard the screaming, I'm not, I'm not race, race. took action, I'm not, went he's and did what he needed to do. The rest yeah. is unfolding before us here on Seymour. I'm going to send wow. it back to you. Unbelievable Dude, story. Those guys, the guys who kidnapped, they're probably going to get in trouble. <laughs> oh, they're in Dutch. Unbelievable. Do you have Sylvia Brown? Can we find that clip? Yeah, it's got to be somewhere. Uh, I'm looking. We'll find it. But she said a few years back that uh, Damn. the girl was dead. Have Ernie pull it. Who? I just like making up people. Oh. <laughs> Make up people. Someone texted me. I mean, I'm uh, sorry, Twitter me. About the guy we were talking about, the serial killer. They said he's from Kansas or something, and he poured drain cleaner in one of his victim's eyes. If, oh. if that's the guy. Oh. Mm. Mm. Let me see. Have you seen that photo? That's him. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Robert Andrew Berdella. Robert Andrew. He died of cancer in jail, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it was helped Medicare covered him. Um. Yeah, I was hoping someone t found that clip, but I don't see it yet on the Twitter. The Twitter. Hope you radio. If you got the Montel Williams Sylvia Brown clip, where Sylvia Brown says this girl was dead when she did her psychic shit. We, in front of that live audience. We barbecued. We had ribs. Oh, this is salsa music. We got Buzz Aldrin coming in in a few minutes already. Buzz. Yes. So that's all we know on this story so far. So far. Are the three girls healthy? And their kids healthy? And uh, how many kids are there all together? I've heard two. Uh, I've seen reports of a six-year-old and then an infant. Six-year-old. So yeah. there's no record of the six-year-old. I, I, I read that this morning. No, so no. She has, I, I doubt she was going to They never to went to the Yeah, obviously. At all. No, I know. I'm, I'm just saying. Is that the six-year-old right there? I think so. So that girl... Oh, my God. I can't confirm that. And then you got a daughter with the fucking... It's amazing. I mean, that kid definitely looks like, you know, half Hispanic. Yes, definitely. I, and she's stuck with her forever. Stark, she loves the hell out of the kid. But, I mean, you have to look, you have to think of him. No whatever. kidding. That's fucked, fucked up. How do, you, how do you work that through your head? All three are in stable condition. The three missing girls. They're all stable. Yeah. And one report says, uh, investigative sources say chains found hanging from the ceiling. Jesus. Oh, well, that's never good. So all three brothers probably just fucked all three girls. I mean, for years. That's what they were probably <laughs> subjected to. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't pleasant. So um, what do we do with these guys? Well, execute them. Yeah, of they, course. They, they of won't. Course. What they yeah. should do is just, is just, is just, just put bullets to them. There's, there's, there's no redeeming value in nah, society for no. these people at all. Zero. No. Wow. Uh, more important, uh, yeah. Charles Ramsey, as Travis put it during the break, <laughs> is the gift that keeps on giving. He, uh, he's, is, he's the guy that saved uh, yeah. the broad up there in Cleveland. What's her name again? Amanda Burry, right? Amanda Burry was yelling and screaming. She had a hand like sticking out of the yeah. house, I guess. She's the, she's the daughter of Blue and Dingle. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles Ramsey hears the commotion and helps her get out of that fucking house of horrors. And, uh, and now they can't stop fucking interviewing him because no. they know he's gold. I, I, we have to just find every interview Charles Ramsey has done. We is found there, another one with a black reporter that we're about to play. Is there a remix yet? Are there 20 remixes out there yet? This is, this is from Fox. Fox? Fox uh, 8. Is it good? Yeah, I mean, I listened to the first. You a, you asked me to preview it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's two and a half minutes long. Mm -hmm. I listened to the first thirty seconds, uh -huh. and I stopped and I said, "This is good." Oh, uh, oh okay. Uh, what uh, what channel was this on? This is on Fox in Cleveland. So Fox, Fox local Fox, 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 Fox eight. Local Fox. What was Fox hungry? <laughs> wow, we all fell for that Fuck. one. Here's Charles Ramsey, another interview. Yeah, this is Charles Ramsey, correct? Yes, sir. You live next door to the home. Uh, yes, sir. I talked to you earlier. Too. Can you tell our viewers again what happened? I went to McDonald's, came home, <laughs> I met at McDonald's. I got the day off from work, so naturally you're doing nothing. And I hear this girl screaming, and she going nuts. So I look, I come outside. And I know there's nobody that's supposed to be screaming next door to my house because there's no girl that lives in that house. So that's a dead giveaway to something wrong. And when I came to the front door and looked at her, uh, she said, my name is Amanda Bear. Please, he's, he's like get me out of this house. <laughs> so I'm thinking, ah, whatever. So I helped her get out the house. I ain't thinking that you really that girl that's missing. You've you, you been gone for so long, you know, you think you're lying. And she called the police, and they came, and they took a fingerprint sample of her, a blood sample, and it came back. It was her. 
And then she said it was two more pe uh, girls up in the house. Now, I don't know this. I just helped her move out. You're correct. There's Gina DeJesus. Help her move out. And then a woman named Michelle Boys, Knight. I helped her move, move out. out. <laughs> and if you look, it almost looks like he said there's two more bitches in the house. Two more bitches in there. It looks like he's trying not to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you watch that? Because you girls. know his, his fucking lingo when he's not in front of the camera uh, is a little different. Yeah, that's yeah. It. I'm flapping. Oh, did his hair. And then she said it was two more <laughs> uh, girls in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Billy. His, you can see his lips. You can see. Make a B. They made a B sound. Yes. Two more bitches in the house. Two more bitches in the house. <laughs> bitches. And up in the motherfucker. Up, and it came back. It was her. And then she said it was two more pe uh, girls in the house. Now, I don't know this. I just helped her move out. You're correct. It was Gina DeJesus. We'll see y'all. And then a woman named Michelle Knight. Next door to the house that you were on the... And, uh, uh, and Michelle uh, Knight is like, ah, ah, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Charles Ramsey fucking yeah. oh, guy. Buzz Ramsey. <laughs> Buzz Ramsey. Best I don't know. guy ever to get involved in this uh, situation. Just help move out. You're correct. It was Gina DeJesus. We'll see yeah. y'all. And then a woman named Michelle Knight. Uh, had, <laughs> so you've been living next door to that house? Have you known there were any people? <laughs> no, because I'd have pulled this heroic... Stuff last year. <laughs> 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 he was trying to go. I'd have pulled this heroic shit. So so far he wants to say t two bitches, Bitch, bitches and, and shit and shit. He rules. absolutely was gonna say shit. <laughs> I'd have pulled this heroic shit years ago. Oh, Motherfucker. God. So did that house had you known there were any people? Yeah. No, because I'd have pulled this heroic. Stuff last year. Okay. With my goons. <laughs> With my goons. <laughs> Thank you for restraining yourself. But <laughs> Thank you for restraining so, yourself. So so you realized who it, it was, though. When, once she said her name, you recognized the name. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. He's and then lying. I walked down the street. In the last my... interview, he said he had no idea. Yeah, of course. Recognizing it. This guy's story will change. Oh, yeah. He'll yeah. be more the hero. And he'll be arrested yeah. for something. I busted in there, motherfucker. Yeah. Right. I put my guns out. I sensed something. Right. I in some. Because I seen he wasn't right, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> but he just lied from interview to interview. I'm like Father could fucking super fly. <laughs> This guy is my neighbor, best. Anthony. And I say, Anthony, I, that's I, me and Anthony talked about this last yeah. year. But he yeah, told me exactly. I was paranoid because I just moved on the street uh -huh. and I told Wait. him something. What oh my god, now he's saying he knew something was up next time. Oh, oh, this guy's just oh, fucking gonna no. build it into. I love him. He's gonna be a superhero by oh, Friday. Oh man, I said, I Anthony. put on my cap. My spidey yeah. senses. And then I walked down the street and I told my, my neighbor, Anthony, and I said, Anthony, I, I, me and Anthony talked about this last year, but he told me I was paranoid because I just moved on the street uh -huh. and I told him something wrong with that house. He told me, just just leave it alone. Pause. 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 He what the never. fuck? He didn't Can say we, any of this. We got to put the interviews together. In the one interview, did you know who it was? No. No. Yeah, I knew who it was. <laughs> yeah. And then and you, I would look at him. You wouldn't think anything of it. Why are you having a barbecue with him? Having a barbecue. You know? He was tinkering with his car. You never know. He was just normal guy. I said, I knew something was up yeah. last year. There was a fire. Oh, this guy's oh, the there. Was a fire. I got a feeling. He rules. All right, we got those two. We got to put back to back. Yes. Yeah. Those two. See, what Did you know the person that lived there? Yeah, we all know him. He a good Don't say dude. his name. No. That was a good dude. You know, you know him. It, yeah. But you thought he lived there by himself. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. To hear some noises come next door yeah. don't make no sense. Because I know you lived there by yourself. And police took him into custody. They, you know, have, they, they say they, this is what I heard. They, they caught him at McDonald's. Because what I did was okay, gave I him. Our Peggy I, I, I gave them okay. the description of the car that he was in. Okay. And I guess they, he, he drives a blue Mazda Miata. He gave they, that, the, me that many of them. Okay. Yeah. I think our Peggy oh, Sinkovich just know. just confirmed that as well earlier. Yeah. Okay, Kevin, Bill, can you hear me? I gave him the description of the car. They never would have caught that nigga <laughs> boy with my ass, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Oh my God! This guy's gold. Is there any more interviews with him? Two so far. We should we should get him on the phone. Oh, he is Please great. Let's get Charles Ramsey on the phone. Uh, oh, he is gonna. Oh, he's gonna be all over the place with his <sighs> yeah changing his little stories. Yeah, uh, Eric in Michigan. He sounds like the husband of the. I don't got time for that. Yeah. Yeah. We've been saying that all morning. Yeah. <laughs> got bronchitis. Oh, oh, there's a fall. Oh, missing grandmother found dead? What the fuck happened to her? Uh, kitten! Uh, oh. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> that guy is fucking crazy. <laughs> he tells right. Uh, I say they say you paranoid. <laughs> Say, I knew that motherfucker was up to no good. <laughs> he is a liar. <laughs> what an amazing story, though. Yeah. Holy shit. I guess uh, the CNN crews are going to have to get out of Boston and get to Cleveland, huh? Yeah. Time to move on. Time to move on and get to Cleveland. Mm-hmm. There's some shit going down. Amanda Berry. Amanda Berry. Yeah, she looks all right. Maybe after, you know, they give her a makeover or something right. before she goes on the talk show circuit. Her daughter that appears right. to have been created by a sexual assault or a rape. Mm-hmm. And this man, Charles oh. Ramsey, walking by, Is didn't Adam turn Walsh? his head and say, I don't want to get involved. He jumps yeah, up on the like porch, a... he breaks mm-hmm. down the door and gets her out, gets her to 911. There's two heroes. And then, and these women are alive because of Charles Ramsey. It's Giant. fantastic. Uh-huh. Right. John, I remember with the do guards the, in retrospect, there were people who said there were girls kept in the backyard uh, and the neighbors, no one ever stepped forward. The cops checked it out, but they weren't able to find anything. Meanwhile, there were girls inside there kept for years. What are your early indications and investigations showing? Were there people who were suspicious at all about this house? Well, let, let's talk about J.C. Dugard for a minute. He, you know, neighbors made complaints, and parole and probation officers and sheriffs went into that house. Amazing how they missed and Philip it. Garrido, who was a level three sex offender who had been convicted of kidnapping a girl and beating her severely and keeping her in a storage unit, that he was actually arrested and went to jail for a month for vo- parole violation while his crazy mother. I mean, sorry, his crazy wife, wife, yeah. wife kept the, uh, J.C. in the backyard. Now, if I was the cop oh that came God. to arrest him for violation, I would have searched the whole house, went out in the backyard, etc. So I think law enforcement can learn something from this to take these calls very, very serious. God, can you imagine? What? They were that close uh, and they didn't find it? That's the Dugard case yeah. where they were living in the backyard in that structure yeah. or whatever. And he had a parole violation, so they sent him to jail. And the fucking wife watched the captive didn't set her free or nothing and the fact that he kidnapped a girl and beat her and then was on parole right. yeah yeah that's and, just and they were so coming. close to finding what was going on in that residence but they didn't check the whole place it's from ridiculous. top to bottom wow wow can you imagine and being those people knowing that the the cops are right outside and just just waiting going all right it's a matter of time they're going to get to where I'm at and they never do yeah fuck jeez oh there's charles ramsey I have some Charles Ramsey comparison. Oh, here. good. Yeah, yeah. Let's oh, do cool. Charles Ramsey comparison. Also, we're trying to call the guy, but his voicemail box is full. I bet. Yeah, I would yeah. assume. But we got his actual number? That's kind of yes. cool. Yeah. yeah. Ah. All right. So first, we're going to listen to his first interview that we yeah. listened to this morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a part of it. Yeah, just just okay. a part of it. And then we're going to listen to uh, to the interview that we just played on Fox. Okay. okay. Let's see if there's any... Uh, Discrepancies. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's my idea. Of course. And this is Jim <laughs> Norton's idea. <laughs> this is Jim Norton's idea. Right. He comes out with a little girl, and she says, "Call 911." My name was Amanda Berry. Now, did you know who that was when you when she said that? When she told me, it didn't register until I got the call in 911, and I'm like, "I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry." I thought this girl was dead. Okay. Uh-huh. And then he said this on Fox. So I'm thinking, yeah, whatever. So I helped her get out the house. I ain't thinking that you really that girl that's missing. You you've been gone for so long. You know, you think you're lying. And she called the police, and they came, and they took a fingerprint sample of her, a blood sample, and it came back. It was her. Hmm. So first Wait, time. Wait, they cut the part off there. <clears throat> no. First time he says, I didn't think about it until I called 911. Second time he says, when I'm getting her out of the house, I'm thinking, no, you're not this person. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, right. But doesn't really the guy say, does. did you recognize the name in the second interview? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then she said it was too mobile. Uh, girls up in the house. Oh, now, bitches. I don't know this. I just helped her move out. You're correct. It was Gina DeJesus was the yeah, other yeah. one. And then a woman named Michelle Knight. <laughs> had, so you been living next door to that house? Had you known there were any people? <laughs> no. I pulled this heroic <laughs> stuff last Thank year. You. <laughs> yeah, there's a part of that interview where he asked him, did you recognize the name? Oh, you, you, you left off the last so part of the second interview. You realized who it was, though. So once she said her name, you recognized the name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no doubt. All right, now okay. uh, we're going to see if he had any suspicions oh. that something was, was a little right. off in this oh, other house. Okay. First interview. Every day, 
I mean, every day. Hey, how long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You still come up wrong? Right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot and listen to salsa music. You see I'm coming from? Yeah. And you had no indication that there was anything Hey, bro, not a clue that that girl w was in that house. Or any okay. And then he said this on Fox. Street, and I told my, my neighbor, Anthony, and I said, Anthony, I, 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 me and Anthony talked about this last year. But he told me I was paranoid because I just moved on the street. Uh -huh. And I told him something wrong with that house. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. Charles Ramsey would make a horrible witness. <laughs> yeah. I told you, yeah, there's something wrong with this house. Eric says that this is Charles Ramsey's 911 call. Really? Oh, yeah. He okay. called 911 as well. So, all right. Cleveland 911 Police Ambulance to Fire. Yeah, hey, bro, I'm at 2207 Seymour, West 25th. Hey, check this out. I just came from McDonald's, right? So I'm on my porch eating my little food, right? This broad is trying to work out the fucking house next door to me. So there's a bunch of people on the street right now and shit. So be like, well, what's wrong with you? What's the problem? She like, this motherfucker that kidnapped me and my daughter, and we've been in this bitch. She said her name is Linda Berry or some shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. I just moved over here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and also, this is, this is the real Charles Ramsey. Yeah, now we're He's not cleaning it up Charles for the white Ramsey. man. Now we're here the real Charles Ramsey. Ramsey. <laughs> I, this is Linda Berry. I don't know who the fuck that is. Who the fuck, fuck this is. Not a clue. I also like how we've had two interviews with him and a 911 phone call, and he has to tell everyone that he just came from McDonald's. I just, he's I, he trying to get an endorsement McDonald's. deal. Yeah. It was an endorsement Go deal. Go back a little bit. Oh, oh and the, is this so is how he really talks. Well, we thought you were there. All the yeah. stories oh, changed. And then Charles. it turns into, yeah, I knew who that was. Now it's like, I don't know who the fuck I don't know who that bitch. motherfucker is. Yeah. <laughs> See, we're kind of, this is like Pulp Fiction. Like, we're getting all the pieces. Sure. Yes, yes. yes. So this yeah. is before any interview. Of yes. course. <laughs> this is as raw as it gets. But what's wrong with you? What's the problem? She like, this motherfucker that kidnapped me and my daughter, and we've been in this bitch. She said her name is Linda Berry or some shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. I just moved over here, bro. Sir, 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 you know what sir, I mean? sir, you have to calm down and slow down. Is she still in the street? Uh, uh, Seymour Avenue, is, this, is she still in the street, or where did she go? Yeah, I'm looking at her. She right now. She calling y'all. She on another phone. Is she black, white, or Hispanic? Uh, she, she white, but the baby look Hispanic. Okay, what is she wearing? <laughs> uh oh. Uh, white tank top, light blue uh sweatpants. Uh, like 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 a white beater. Do you know the address next door that she said she was in? Yeah, 2207. I'm looking at it. Okay, I thought that was your address. So that that house. No, is... no, I'm smarter than that, bro. I'm telling you what a crime was. Okay, I'm not house. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smarter than that, bro. I'm, I'm telling you in a crime, yeah, not my house. <laughs> There's oh, absolutely shit. something that they're going to catch. Oh, this of guy course. is in of for course. a treat. This guy is great. Oh, they are going to just run his name and oh, be like, oh, I feel look, bad at, for Charles look at Ramsey. what we got. Look what we got here. Oh, he sounds like Samuel look. Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Motherfucker. That's the one that says bad okay, I thought that was your address, so that, that house no, is... No, no, I'm smarter than that, bro. I'm telling you what a crime okay, would. Okay, look, house. sir, we can't talk at the same time. Do you want to leave your name and number? Or your name Charles and number? Ramsey, R-A-M-S-E-Y. What's the phone number? Uh, 216. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's going to... Do they bleep it out? Maybe. Who gives a shit? At this point, we, oh, you want me to just turn us off first? Yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Just to be safe, then we'll go back. <laughs> yeah, Travis. Okay. Yeah, they didn't bleep it out. Oh, know. they didn't bleep it out. No, I don't want to. Bleep it. Okay, so he gives his phone number, and then we go back. People, she said they did this. Do you know if they're still in the house? I don't have a fucking clue, bro. I just said I came from McDonald's. Can you, can you ask her if she needs an ambulance? You need an ambulance or what? Bambalance? She needs everything. She's a she in a uh, panic, bro. I guess she's been kidnapped, so, you know, put yourself in her shoes. <laughs> I, we'll send the police out. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's classic. Oh, is he great. Yeah. 2003. Two of them were taken, 2003 and one in 2004. That's Elizabeth Smart now. She looks great. Wow. She looks all right, man. Kidnap and treated her well. lovely. Mm -hmm. She is a... Uh, Oh, and there's a girl named Gina they're looking for, too. Oh, yeah? They're going to find a dead body in that house. Or in the yard or something. Someone who didn't cooperate like these girls did. Oh, they're showing it from back then, 2004. Oh, this uh, is where 2000, it's... 2007. They were still six years away from rescue. 2009. Oh. Boy. All of our K-Rock time. Oh, They got my kidnapped. God. 
Well, we, uh, who we was, were back on XM. Who was in a worse position, them <laughs> or us at K-Rock? <laughs> no, they got kidnapped. We were still off the we, air. Before we came back on the air. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 2003, 2004, the right? Oh, God, right? Yep. We're gonna, maybe they listen to us. Maybe. They're being ugh, horrible. Maybe. And Charles Ramsey rules. Charles Ramsey is in for the biggest fucking, I feel the biggest spike in, in hero popularity oh, yeah. and fucking. It never works out in the end. He's going to be like that Kraft macaroni and cheese guy. <laughs> like, oh, look, he's just a guy. He's down on his luck. And then it's like, this is a Louis Vuitton. I see a year of jail in his future for some past crime. Oh, yeah. That he's been fucking dodging for years just because he's the comes forward as the hero. He must have had such a hard time with the press not fucking cursing. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's the real one. Oh, yeah. That's the one we just heard is the real dude. This motherfucker. Yeah, this motherfucker. I, I don't know who the fuck that is. We're all in search of more Charles Ramsey audio. Mm -hmm. There's got to be more out there. He's not picking up the phone. I know. No, just keep calling. Text him. Yeah, keep calling. Yeah, text him. Hit him on the hip. <laughs> no? Wait, yeah. we gotta. Oh no! You gotta help me. I Hold on, we got head. a press conference going oh, yeah. on though. Don't. Um, Amanda's the key to that. So the guy uh, that uh, abducted you know these three girls in Cleveland, he has other houses. Fucking Amanda Love. The, the latest on this, he has other houses that they want to check out immediately. And uh, other properties, this guy. Other properties, this guy owns. Uh, yeah. Deep, deep line of questioning. Um, our concern. Our first and foremost concern last night was their physical and, and mental well-being. So that no, uh, that is going to come out, but as of today, I couldn't tell you. Hey, I couldn't tell you. Hey, we're got, we, we're we're talking at a scale right now. You bet your ace we are. It's Chicago light, the Cleveland yeah. accent. Hey, look. No. No, I no. Was, you know, Give us the information we want to get, and I'll get you some of that secure, deep dish pizza. Exactly Imagine they see iPhones for the first time and all this weird technology oh now, God. ten years later. You know, you were ah, this is going to be a waste. Uh, if anything pops on the press conference, let us know. Yeah. I think we should play the Charles Ramsey 911 call again, because it's so damn raw, and no one, no one is really playing it. We've taken Mr. Ramsey into custody. <laughs> right. <laughs> Apparently there were some uh, wants and warrants out on him. <laughs> He'll be residing at uh, county for a little while, not giving any interviews. Poor guy. You know yeah. they're going to get him for something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when he heard that police siren and then turned his head so quickly, that's that's a man that's been... <laughs> He's been rousted a few times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love uh, the part. She need everything. Of she course, need everything. She, of course, she needs everything. Send police, send a fire, send a ambulance. Maybe go to McDonald's on the way. McDonald's. I was eating uh, over at Big Kona Burger. That's that Hawaiian joint. I was. <laughs> I was eating it, and I'm thinking that's a tasty burger. I was joining, uh, enjoying my McDonald's. Yeah. So I asked the guy next to me, uh, Brett, if he could, uh, I could uh, have some of his tasty beverage to wash this down. With. <laughs> wash it down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, help me one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Charles Ramsey rules. He sounds like uh, Sammy Jackson, right, guys? Holy fuck. You know how we were talking about, um, like, black witnesses are the best witnesses? Of course. We should do it. We could either do it today or maybe tomorrow. We got to do, like, a black witness hall of fame. Oh, yeah. Because you got the, lepre the leprechaun people. Leprechaun people. Let's not forget the mule. Mo. Got the beer people. Mo, you got ice off. Oh. <laughs> then you got the hailstone lady, right? Who else you got on that list? Uh, well, we've got them all in 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 Dillette, in a folder. Boo, boo, so got we'll sh boo got shot. Boo, boo got, got shot. shot. Boo got shot. Boo got shot. Yeah. Boo got shot, and then my cousin Pumpkin. Which ones you got <laughs> in the Dillette there, uh, Iraq? Hang on, I'm finding them. Well, my cousin. In honor of Charles Pumpkin. Ramsey, we should play some of the classics. Charles Ramsey. I just saw the Leprechaun one again. Yeah. Recently, yeah. Yeah. I haven't I seen know. that one in a while. It's on YouTube, and it led me to that somehow. <laughs> and uh, My that one's just amazing. Pumpkin. Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's <laughs> Crichton community. Many of Crichton. you bring binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looked like a Leprechaun to me. I got to do a look up in the tree. Who else in the Leprechaun say yeah? Yeah! yeah! 
Eyewitnesses say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead. <laughs> got on to the wrong stuff. And it told me to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're still on there, guy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. This guy helping to direct this traffic guy. says he's prepared for his encounter with the leprechaun. He's suited up from head to toe. This wars off spells right here. This is a special leprechaun flute, which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great-great-grandfather, who was Irish. I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky and Black hopes Irish. a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. Buried. I'm going to run a back hole and uproot that tree. I want to know where to go. I want the gold. Jesus. I want the gold. There's some dumb people out oh there. Oh, my God. I want the, the gold. gold. I want to know where the gold at. What the fuck are you saying? Yeah, what about Antoine Dotson? Antoine Dotson? Yeah, he's one of these classic black eyewitness uh, people. Yeah. You got that one, he rock. Uh, that's not in here. I think we played it off video. I but it. I do have Give the Man UPS. Oh, yeah, oh I forgot about one. Give the Man UPS. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's play Give, him, oh, give the Man UPS. So many hits from the black. I seen uh, the cops knocking the truck window out. And I thought they was giving the man UPS. I thought the man was dead. That's the way it was. <laughs> UPS. <laughs> she fucking said UPS. I forgot the Antoine Dotson. What was that one about again? I know he's fucking ridiculously famous from this. That was uh, uh, the rape. The rapist. All oh, right. Do you have it? Is it quick? Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, let's play this one, too. Going through Terrifying some of the classics. moment for a woman who woke up to a strange man in bed with her. The woman screamed. Her brother rushed into help. Fifty-three to million views. Send her off. That break-in happened early this morning in the 500 block of Webster Drive. No, 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 right to the guy. UFF 48's Elizabeth Jello caught up with the victim. Well, his sister screamed and ran to help. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids. Has your wife and has your husband because they're raping everybody out here. The attacker got <laughs> loose <laughs> yeah. out the upstairs window, but he did leave something behind. We got your t shirt, you didn't left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. A crime scene investigator photographed and dusted for prints on the lid of the garbage can and the window pane and ledge. Dodson says he's never seen the perp before, but sends this warning to whoever is responsible. You don't have to come and confess that you did. We're looking for you. We we gonna find you. Oh, we'll let you know next. We. So you can run and tell that, homeboy. <laughs> that was yeah, it. Yeah, we gonna find became you. Became ridiculously famous. Yeah, there was a headline recently. Antoine Dotson. I'm no longer homosexual, but still attracted to men. What? What? Yeah. yeah this so, is a story that came out a couple days ago. He declares homosexuality is foolish. Did he find mm. what? took to his Facebook page to state the following. I have to renounce myself. I am no longer into homosexuality. I want a wife and family. Oh. I want to multiply and raise and love my family that I create. I could care less about the fame and fortune, blah, blah, blah. Fame and fortune? Stuff. Yeah. What kind of yeah, fame, fame and fortune is he getting from fucking... He got fame and fortune. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, he did. That's crazy. He got paid. I got paid. What's he get? What did he get paid for? I don't know. That's no fortune. T-shirt or something. He got some dumb, like, internet fame. Yeah, he did all right. The fleeting internet fame. He did all right for himself. Yeah. What other black uh, witnesses we got? Uh, we yeah, got... what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? I ain't never heard nobody complain <laughs> about the uh, beer we have. It drank pretty good. Budweiser? Uh -huh. uh, what's the name of some of them other beer? Budweiser and what is it? Miller? <laughs> Miller? Coors? Coors? He drank pretty good, don't he? <laughs> I, I, I gotta hear that again. Miller? I gotta hear that again. Yeah, did, yeah. Miller? 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 Play, yeah, the whole, play it again. Cool. The whole fucking thing. Miller? Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? I ain't never heard nobody complain. About the uh, beer we have, it drank pretty good. Budweiser, uh, what's the name of some of them other beers? Budweiser and what is it? Miller? 
<laughs> Miller, <laughs> cool up. It drank pretty good, don't it? He was so proud of himself that he came up with two beers on the on the spot on the fly. Cool, cool. cool. Mm. Oh my God! And then there was the uh, the hailstorm lady recently, right? Yeah. Oh, Kapuya. Do you have that? Or you want me to... No, you have it in there. <laughs> yeah, what is it? yeah, play that one. Yeah. Across town, residents are now picking up the pieces as well. Large hailstones destroyed mobile homes, busted out windows, and car tail lights. Stone. Man, those jokers <laughs> was big, size of a quarter doggone. Many said it sounded like nothing they've ever heard before. He said, Kapuya, Kapuya! And your boy that hell just came in. I looked at my, opened my door and I looked out my door and started hitting me in my head. I took out running and ran to my restroom and then I called my mama to see what she all right. Yeah. All right, all right. Tracy Morgan, tippy, all right. Or Tippy Tom. Or Tippy Tom, yeah. right. Called my mom and they, they was all right. My, my favorite, those jokers were big. Uh, kabooya. Kabooya. What about um, Oh Lord is a Far? Lord is a Far. Oh, yeah. That one. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think oh, she. Sweet Brown? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What else you got in your uh, folder there, E Rock? I'm, I'm looking through it here. Sweet Brown. We almost got mo just about all of them. describes her horrifying experience when she first this. realized the complex was on fire. Well, I woke up to go <laughs> give me a cold pop. Cold pop. And I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know these have been played a million times, it, but it's, who fucking cares, man? They fucking rule. <laughs> the black eye witness. The news knows. They the fucking The local news know. knows. When they Find get, a black person on the scene. Oh, when they get a black person on scene like that. Didn't oh. a comic do a bit on, on that? I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I did. Oh, Jesus. I said, you ever notice that they get these the black people to interview? I'm like, what the fuck's up with that? That's the whole bit? Yeah. Still working it out? Not nah, fucking hilarious. <laughs> working it out. <laughs> yeah, how does that play it, in front of the people? I just go like, yeah, you ever see that shit? I, I'm like, what the fuck? Boo got shot and a bunch of pumpkins and stuff. The one lady mm. got bronchitis. Fucking shit's crazy. e has got another one. <sighs> I, I forget the story to this, but it's an old lady describing somebody going around kicking people in the balls. Is it? Oh, a, right. Is it a black lady? Yeah. Yeah. I remember right. this one. I don't remember this one, I don't think. Look at my name. I'm a hit man old Tommy. I just started kicking the people in the balls and everything. Just, you know, it was so I couldn't breathe. Yeah. I couldn't breathe. That was one of those things where they had like a, a midnight madness kind of fucking right. open the doors and right. everybody oh, stampeded. Right, right, right. And she got trampled and said what? she was kicking in the balls. Now, Whitey does all right, too. I know we're going with the Black Witness, but you had yeah. uh, the surfer dude out there. Right, right. With the hatchet. Surfer guy was And then good. what was the one you tweeted over the weekend? The white guy uh, at oh, the fire. Oh, that fucking guy at the fire. We haven't played him yet. No, he wound up dying like a week later. That's what I uh, yeah. read. But he, uh, oh, my God. Oh, oh what does this oh, happen? Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love that they can't hear us. I hope they, they walk by. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. I want to. I want to play the white guy. Um, the Obama phone lady. Oh yeah. Obama phone. But what do you? Uh, do you got the white guy? Oh, I'm looking. It was sort of. Uh, it did really well over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, Obama phone. Yeah, that was. Uh, she was a good one. No, can't find it. I tweet a lot. Yeah, I, I got lots of tweeties. <laughs> yeah. My tweeting's been down. I get into big discussions. What's that, Iraq? While he's doing that, do you want to do this? So yeah. we can get it out of the way? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Well, uh, oh, no. Sex, yeah. Sexy bagel. This, this Google search sponsored by... Ah, yes. <laughs> We got the guy. Uh, yeah, this was going around on the weekend, and now he's dead, huh? You're kidding. Yeah, like pu Jerry Springer. Yeah, push that play there. What was the tide around 
Oops. One ear. Well, it's just been so crazy out here, as you can imagine. But about an hour ago, and I never heard no explosion. It's just I have a huge TV, and I get seeing all these strange colors. So I walked out the door about eight feet, and it looked like you were looking at Afghanistan, and they just blowed up two or three buses. And thank God she was the only one at home. But she said, all I remember was I had something in a frying pan. <laughs> Could have been chicken. And she <laughs> away. Was it was chicken? Just a little bit Cares. too long. And it sparked a set of paper towels. And from there, all Hades broke loose. <laughs> and when I out, I swear to God, if this gentleman can pan over oh, the tree, the fireball <laughs> the girl's laughing. was as high as that tree. Oh my God! Girl's yeah, kind of well, cute. What would you call that? Fifty yards. The stringy hair and a big hair clip. But the the garage was was already collapsed. And this was before I even knew it was happening. And then when I walked out to the yard, <laughs> there was like 15 fire trucks. The bedroom part of the house was collapsing. And then, boom, the fireball went the size of the house and up about 80 feet. <laughs> and thank God, Tony wasn't home, and she managed to get out of the house. We should speed up this audio. Oh, my God, right? Yes, ma'am, but I didn't actually come in contact with her to approximately two minutes after the fact, and obviously she's post a facto. Uh, and they they had a little dog, and I'm really afraid the dog didn't make it. But I don't know that. Well, you're very welcome. I mean, what's your name? You're a very, very beautiful young lady. Who are you? <laughs> he starts a conversation. He with kissed her. her hand. He kissed her hand. Oh, oh God. This guy knows the guy in the clip. No fucking oh, way. Oh man. Charlie. Hey guys. Hey, he's dead, huh? Yeah. He uh, right after that, the little girl in there. She's actually the weather girl for the weekend. Oh. And she's... she doesn't even report. That thing just blew up. We didn't have any reporters, so they sent her out. I shouldn't have any idea what the hell she was doing. And she ended up with this guy, and then literally maybe 10 days later, two weeks later, everybody knew he was a local alcoholic. They found him dead in his house. Wow. So that girl was, what, was she just kind of on scene? And Yeah, well, she wasn't even on scene. She was back at the station, and there was oh. a huge explosion that went over the scanner, and there was only the assignment editor. They didn't have anybody to send out. And I'm like, Jessica, you got to go. She didn't have any idea, so they just sent her out with a camera. They're like, here's record, here's how you put it on the tripod. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow, she gets a yeah. fucking viral video, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was fantastic. As soon as we all got back to the station and saw it, we must have watched it 50 times and laughed for weeks about that, and then all of a sudden it just hit the Internet and took off. <laughs> there's, uh, there's one clip of uh, where you could see her kind of turn her head and kind of gives like a little smile. Oh, where, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, the, uh, there's another camera. Somebody was taking cell phone footage. If I can find it, I'll send it to you guys. But they're off camera where they've got her video camera. They just grabbed one of the um, officers on scene and was like, can you kind of run the camera for me? And he was like, yeah. There's video off to the side of her, and the looks on her face are fantastic because she has no idea what she's doing. Yeah. She's just this complete drunk going on and on about fried chicken and 50 foot or 50 yard explosion. She's, a, she, she's, uh, she's pretty cute. Huh? Oh yeah, she's super cute. Yeah. yeah, I love working at TV. There's all kinds of. No, you don't understand what's going on here, sir. Let me explain what's going on. Oh, oh. Ant's asking, you know, 
Oh, to I've, maybe uh, pass a phone number on. I've, I have had experience uh, dating <laughs> yes, women uh, in the news. <laughs> um, it not, uh, you know, it, it, maybe not a perfect relationship. Uh, well, I mean, that maybe hasn't ended well, but it starts off good. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah put in a good word. Uh, I will absolutely put in a good word. I will let her know. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that would be hilarious. Yeah. All right, man, thanks. Uh, all, All right, right buddy. Have a yeah, I didn't know we had a guy, a fan of the show that actually. Hey, look at that. He works there. there. Mm. Works at the radio. Or he just stalks station. everyone and hangs out there. I so. got one more black eye witness that we forgot about. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you want to just play it? Sure. Please. Crazy up in there. I don't have time to step in there. People are already trying to fight and everything. It's not even worth it. I'm investing in these. Look at that. Ah, that's real. <laughs> yeah, kids, people got their babies out here. It's cold. They wrapped up in blankets. What if your child get ammonia for a pair of shoes? Ammonia? Now, <laughs> what if your child get ammonia for a pair of shoes? <laughs> if you're... Let me, let me explain that's what happens. Question, though. If your chow... <laughs> gets ammonia for a pair of shoes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't take your chow out mm -hmm. if it's cold and you're getting a pair of shoes because your chow may get ammonia. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Charles Ramsey. Yes, Charles. for Mother's Day, Charles Ramsey. Charles Ramsey for Mother's Day. Oh, shit, I thought it was... Yeah. What happened? We took care of the House of Horror the last break, and now we're going to have a little fun with the Cleveland situation, uh -huh. thanks to Charles Ramsey. Tom Poppy, you like the Charles Ramsey? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's quite the character. He's, yeah. He is quite the character. And he uh, He's hanging with the goon squad. <laughs> Does he call it the goon squad or or his goons? Sounds like what Anthony calls it. Yeah, well, it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> a couple Fucking of good pickup. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> we got Charles Ramsey talking to uh, Anderson Cooper last night. Anderson oh, Cooper? Ooh. He's dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, Charles piercing Ram blue eyes. Charles Ramsey said some fun stuff that we like to <laughs> to Anderson. To. Now yeah. we noticed yesterday when he first uh, hit the news. Uh, you know, he's the heroic Cleveland citizen that kicked in the door and freed these poor damsels yeah. in distress. A Superman of sorts. Oh, well, yes, he's not yes. a Superman. He was in the right place at the right time. <laughs> of course he was. With the screaming and the and the clawing at a door, I think anyone would have had to jump into action. We learned he didn't have yeah. any superpowers. We learned yesterday that uh, his in, in his initial interview that he didn't know who the girl was. Right. Didn't know that she was the kidnapped girl from 10 years ago. He didn't know anything was happening in the house mm -hmm. because the guy was completely normal. He had barbecued with him and had ribs. ribs with him right, and right. stuff like that. Um, and uh, he just didn't know anything was going on. That was at the first interview. By the last interview of yesterday... <laughs> he knew exactly who the girl was. She was a kidnapped girl. <laughs> he he bolted into action yeah. and kicked the door down and like a superhero. And he sensed that she was there. He sensed, <laughs> yeah, his spidey senses. And he knew a year ago and told one of his friends, something's going on in that house. <laughs> his <laughs> story but changed you, like a witness on First 48. But do you understand what we're doing here? Yeah. We're breaking them down already. Of course we are. We can't allow this to be a cool fucking <laughs> no, story. We gotta break them down. He's starting to fib a bit, Opie. And no. uh, as we remember yesterday, also when he was giving the uh, first interview, and the police siren sounded right. in the background, his eyes opened up and his head spun around <laughs> yeah. like like he didn't like the sound of a cop being that close to him. I predict wants and warrants, and this hero will be in lockup I, uh, I, I, shortly. I, I decided to isolate the police siren. I put it up on. My on my channel. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to. Woo! His eyes like, what yeah, the he goes, fuck? What the fuck? What the I think fuck? he's a new, a new superhero for a new age. Yeah. yeah. And, yep. And, you know, I'm, I, I don't think he wanted to give away his secrets in the beginning. And then yes. he realized, well, the, the attention's too great. I'm going to have to give up some of my mm. superhero techniques. Ah. ah interesting Boy. angle on that one. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you hear him talk, how can you not think superhero? Obviously, his kryptonite is hair conditioner. <laughs> Uh, and police sirens. Kills him instantly. So. And the police sirens. And a forget. toothbrush. Steers clear, and a toothbrush. He steers clear of these things that might uh, deter him now, from his hero. Uh, 
And who does he look like? There's a few. Well, there's a few out ev- there right everybody. now. Everybody. <laughs> See, because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hide your wife. Looks like an Ed, looks like an Eddie Murphy character. Yeah, from um, Coming to America. Yeah, coming yeah, to America. America. The barber, the barber from Coming the to America. America. Yes. Is that the, America. Is that the number one is? coming in? Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah. Yes. The barber from Coming to America. Yes, ah. yes. Oh, there, yeah, he there he is. is. <laughs> All right, there's Charles Ramsey <laughs> Charles in Coming Ramsey. to America. <laughs> and Charles Ramsey, I noticed on Twitter yesterday, McDonald's, the McDonald's Corporation, their McDonald's. official Twitter, and it did have the check mark, and it was really McDonald's, said um, that they uh, they were honoring him. This is an amazing thing, his heroics. They, their hearts go out to the uh, yeah. the uh, girls that were kidnapped. Sure. But they also said, Charles... Uh, there it is. We, we yeah, salute the... Uh, well, where to go? Okay. We salute the courage of... Uh, of Ohio kidnapped victims and respected. Uh, res- Could you read it from there? I'm sorry, it's a little too far away. <laughs> the victims and respect their privacy. Uh, way to go, Charles Ramsey. We'll be in touch. <laughs> we'll be in touch. <laughs> know what that means? Resume. They're, they're ready to give him a shitload of Big Macs, but they want to make sure he doesn't have any fucking parts. Right. <laughs> well, they're, they're looking thing. into his background and make sure before they fucking well they back saw up the, the Big Mac truck. They saw the initial. Uh, interview where he's like, you know, he's not cursing or anything. Did they hear his 911 call? <laughs> because that was a lot different than his uh, interview. That's the real Charles Ramsey. Where he was holding yeah. back. The real Charles Ramsey was like, I don't know who up in that fucking bitch. Can we play the 911 call? The 911 call is great. Iraq. Is great. I haven't no, heard it. We played it, it online. It's oh, fan fucking tastic. Oh, okay. uh, Tom Pop, have you heard the note? I have, no, oh. I have not. You haven't heard the uncensored one? No. It's going to be censored on CBS. Where did we find it yesterday? Uh, I think it, we have it on our Facebook if you want to play it off there. Yeah, just play yeah. it. Yeah, play it off the Facebook. That's a good idea. I don't go to CBS's feed. No, because yeah, you know they're going to beep out all the oh, curses. Oh, they stink. They suck, even though they're part of the internet. They're full of turkey. But they they have to have the same rules for their internet fucking yeah. site. Yeah, just go to the Facebook page. There, there it is, right? It. Okay, listen to this, Tom Papa. This awesome. is the real Charles Ramsey. What you're about to hear is a 911 call placed by hero Charles Ramsey after he found Amanda Berry, a woman who had been kidnapped for the past decade. This man saved her life. Cleveland 911 police ambulance to fire. Yeah, hey bro, I'm at 2207 Seymour, West 25th. Hey, check this out. I just came from McDonald's, right? So I'm on my porch eating my little food, right? This broad is trying to work out the fucking house next door to me. So there's a bunch of people on the street right now and shit. So we like, well, what's wrong with you? What's the problem? She like, this motherfucker been kidnapped me and my daughter, and we've been in this bitch. She said her name is Linda Berry or some shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. I just moved over here, bro. Sir, <laughs> sir, 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 you have to calm down and slow down. Sir, sir. 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 Uh, uh, Seymour Avenue. Is, this, is she still in the street or where did she go? Yeah, I'm looking at her. She right now. She calling y'all. She on another phone. <laughs> is she black, white, or Hispanic? Uh, she, she white, but the baby look Hispanic. Okay, what is she wearing? <laughs> uh, white tank top, light blue uh, sweatpants. Uh, like, like like a white beater. Do you know the address next door that she said she was in? Yeah, 2207. I'm looking at it. Okay, I thought that was your address. So that, that house no, is... No, no, I'm smarter than that, bro. I'm telling you what a crime okay. would. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can't talk at the same time. Do you want to leave your name and number? Or your name Charles and number? Ramsey, R-A-M-S-E-Y. What's the phone number? So you got the phone number there, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we already dumped out the phone number? Are the people she said that did this, do you know if they're still in the house? I don't have a fucking clue, bro. I just said I don't have a McDonald's. Can you, uh, can you ask her if she needs an ambulance? You need an ambulance? Or what? She needs everything. She's a uh, panic, bro. I guess she's been kidnapped. So, you know, put yourself in her shoes. I, we'll send the police out. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> my, that's my favorite part. She need everything. She need everything. She need everything. She need everything. <laughs> Send every motherfucker. She needs police. She needs a helicopter. She needs a McDonald's. Yeah, the fucking yeah, <laughs> McDonald's. That's the real yeah. Charles Ramsey, not wow. the guy. <laughs> How do you handle that if you're McDonald's? Damn, damn, damn. There's a bitch at the door. I don't know that whore. <laughs> A lot of free press from McDonald's. Oh, uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. How do you handle that if you're in a so, board meeting at McDonald's? How do we <laughs> grasp on to this gentleman and use him uh, to our best advantage? Uh, I don't want to uh, <laughs> yeah, be um, buzzkill here, but... Uh, maybe he's not the kind he's, of... He's a little too ghetto for what we're trying to portray. <laughs> now, see, McDonald's is all about diversity. I know we 
you want an urban audience, but... Uh... I think this is a perfect way to dive into the diverse uh, <laughs> consumer base that we perhaps are missing. I yes, heard... let's go with this Charles <laughs> Ramsey. Oh, God. We're going to... We're going to use him a lot for our... Oh, boy. <laughs> he could be the new Rodney Allen Ripley oh, for us. Yeah. <laughs> you think there's a commercial in his future? Oh, yeah. There's no way. The, Ram the nah, Ramsey Shuffle. They're gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to give him free fucking Big Macs for life, and that's it. Yeah. Here's your free Big Macs for life oh, card. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keep it down. Good luck with your life there. Yeah. They'll have him, like, fucking... They'll, they'll have him sitting at McDonald's. He'll be like, ah... He'll take the Big Mac, he'll put it up to his mouth, ah, get ready to bite, and then he'll, you'll see the bathroom door at McDonald's. Help! I'm trapped in here! Oh, man! And he'll put the, the down, kick the door in. You deserve a break today! Or no, it'll be it'll be something innocent. Like, he'll be going to eat the thing, and it'll be like, you know, help, help! And he'll put it down and run, but it'll just be a girl who spilled her milkshake. Oh. And it'll be like, uh, something like, oh! It'll be like a fun uh. ending, like it wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, you can't be a hero every day! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> food habits die hard! I'm loving it! I just want to help! <laughs> I'll have a Big Mac with everything! <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kidnap these McNuggets <laughs> and store them in the basement of my stomach. <laughs> so you got the Charles Ramsey on the Anderson Cooper last night on CNN. Yeah, he did Anderson Cooper's show. We're checking out all the interviews and bringing the best uh, clubs to you. <laughs> Here's Charles telling Anderson what happened. So, so yesterday, what happened? Uh oh, yeah, you gonna love this? I'm gonna tell it all. <clears throat> Around three o'clock, I was on my porch, and the mailman put his mail in my mail. So I looked at it and was like, oh, I gotta get here goes mail when he come home. <laughs> a couple minutes later, he pulled up. He checked the mailbox, grabbed his mail before he went in the house. I said, Ariel, here go your mail. And we just had the same conversation when I handed him the mail. He said, they can't get it right. Mm. I said, nope, damn postal service. That's it. He left. I jumped on my bike. Went to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> he mentions McDonald's again. Oh, I know. He might have, he's oh, not a dumb guy. He's not dumb. He, he knows no. someone's paying attention. I went to McDonald's. <laughs> Jesus. Imagine him. The greatest would be if the fucking girls come out and they go, and all we ate for 10 years was McDonald's. Oh, and McDonald's yeah, gets a black eye. Up. Those murderers loved McDonald's. Yeah. Those fucking kidnapping They would always eat McDonald's after second oh, meal. Oh. Oh. Give a complete black eye yeah. to McDonald's. Oh. Down oh. McDonald's. Came back home. I'm in my house. Enjoying but I'm McDonald's. in the living room. And I'm right by the front door because I'm looking out the front door. Oh, he's too much detail, and, guy. Man, this girl screamed like a car had hit a kid, hmm. which made me, you know, you stop eating. You know, what the hell was that? You know, that, that. So when I got up, I saw this, my neighbor across the street, he run across the street. And I'm like, well, where? I'm thinking, well, where are you going? Because ain't nobody next door because I just saw Ariel leave. Hmm. And I know ain't nobody over there. Hmm. Heard that girl scream and, and saw him run across the street. And I went outside and, and wondered what he was doing. And the, it's a, the girl, Amanda say, I'm stuck in here. Help get me out. So he either don't know English that well or panic. But he just looked at me and was like, he's a girl. And that's all he did. So here I come with my, you know, half eating Big Mac. And, I look, <laughs> and, she's up, and she's like, I've been trapped in here. And he won't let me out. It's me and my baby. I say, well, you we ain't got to talk no more. Come on. And I'm trying to get the door open. They can't. I used some of the grease from the French fries <laughs> to lubricate the lock. That's what I did. And then I put a Mitch <laughs> Nugget in the corner and Jimmy the door open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to the Big Mac? I couldn't see it too well, so I stood on the Big Mac because it's so big. And I could look inside. She said my baby's sick, so I gave her by the Big Mac. I was healed. <laughs> He loves his Amen. Big Mac. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this guy talking about plug all up. Oh, man. <laughs> Torture chamber did some kind of way and locked it up, right? So I did what I had to do and kicked the bottom of it, uh, the door, and she crawled out of it. She grabbed her baby, but threw me off. All right, so fine. I got some girl and her kid. And we, what did she look like? I mean, what, what was she wearing? Uh, jumpsuit. Uh, she had a white 
uh, tank top on. <laughs> Big Mac yellow. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it looked like the like same color as Secret yeah. Sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That goes on the two all beef patty and Secret Sauce lips, cheese, pickles, onions on the sesame seed bun. <laughs> shoes look like pickles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she looked like a McDonald's sign. Oh, fuck it, Chip. Rings on mascara. You know, she was well groomed. She didn't like. She didn't look like she was kidnapped. That's what I'm saying. Mm. That's what threw me off. When well, she was like, I'm in here trapped. I'm like, well, you don't look kidnapped. So maybe you got a boyfriend problem. <laughs> boyfriend oh, problem. Boy. So I took the kid stat for a Happy Meal. <laughs> 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 and you'd never seen her before. N bro. In the year that you'd been there. Bro. Bro. That man. Listen. Never. That woman didn't come out the house. The only kids that came out the house were two little girls. They played in the backyard. With, he had two dogs. They, and, I, and, my, where I, and where I live, naturally, is next door. My bedroom was upstairs. So when I just look, here's kids playing, I know it's them. They do the same thing. Play in the backyard for a couple hours, go back in the house. Mm. Same thing every day. Who are those kids? The neighborhood knows them as his grandchildren. Oh. So it's no big deal. He, he got his grandkids over all the time. Uh -huh. I thought kids probably maybe it's a kid or so maybe it's another kid plus his the, one of the kidnapped daughters mm. girls or maybe he just brought his grandkids over and it's unconnected mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This story's getting creepier and creepier yeah yeah this guy this guy should I, I hope this guy gets at least fucking 10 years yeah, I thought you were gonna say. I hope he gets at least Big Macs for life Big Mac for life <laughs> I mean, they, 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 they Yeah guy. Yeah, Team Big Mac, motherfucker! <laughs> That's right. This next clip is great. Oh, yeah? Uh, yes. Amanda Berry then, what, asked to, to call 911? Mm-hmm. And I took her to my house. Now, I'm nervous as hell, so I'm fumbling with my phone. So, I finally did it right. She can't wait, and I don't blame her. So what I do is tell her, go across the street and use their phone. Now, we both calling 911. Now, she get through, and I get through, she deal with a moron. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> the 911 operator is a moron. By the way, on Fox, they just flashed that the 911 operator is being in, like looked into. Because he really was. He got off the phone. He goes, all right, we'll right. send a car. All right, th this cocksucker yeah. hung up the phone. They obviously the, had the woman. something. And that, yeah. was, that was the woman's call. Right, she, she screamed calling. bloody murder, so you, you, you got to keep her on the like, line. And they don't stay man. on the phone. She said, this kidnapped, we're kidnapped, and right. they hang up on her. Yeah, you don't know where that aerial was. guy is. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he could be in, you know, pursuit yeah, right of her. Right there, right. Yeah, they, Jeez, chasing around a house or something. Yeah, but they get off the phone. All right, we'll send a car, and he hangs up on this guy. But those are the type of people that they put all the credence in, and the fucking Zimmerman case too. Well, the right. right. operator said to not follow and stand. They don't know what they, they're fucking t there to take the message right. for the cops. Hi, the police aren't here right now. Can I take a message? <laughs> That's nine one one. Moron. Me too. You said there were. What do you mean a moron? Idiot. I heard the nine one one call. Idiot. Heard the <laughs> Idiot. Moron. Kept Idiot. Like, how many more fucking words do you need? <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Schmuck. Dumbass. <laughs> there were. What do you mean a moron? Idiot. I heard the 911 call for her, and, and the woman kept being like, <laughs> the damn job. The woman was like, oh, hang up and wait for the police. Really? How about stay on, and, and I'll, I'll talk to you till they get there. Right. Yeah. So you call 911. Yep. How sure quickly did the police get there? You know why they got this so fast? Because I said moron. Because I said, hey, Amanda Berry is right in front of me right now. He's like, what she got on? And I told him, white tank top, blue sweatpants, nice. What she wearing shoes. now? Nice, you know, ponytail. What else? Oh, right. She panicking, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. He, he had a kidnap victim for 10 years, and this cock-sucking 911 operator panicking, gets off idiot. the phone with him. <laughs> she panicking, idiot. God, this guy, is, he's a smart guy. Yeah. He's street smart, this Charles Ramsey. Yeah, <laughs> Larry <laughs> King here with... <laughs> Uh, Charles Ramsey, what happened with the other half of your Big Mac? <laughs> Did you go back to it? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Larry always getting to the important parts of the fucking yeah. story. Did you have a ha right, Was it supersized? <laughs> Comment. <laughs> no ponytail? What else? Oh, right. She panicking, idiot. <laughs> Put yourself in her shoes. I just said it. Amanda Berry, that don't ring no damn bells, you being a cop and all? Did, cop. But you, when you first saw her... And she said the name Amanda Berry. Did it? 
It didn't register. Re- it didn't know. Cause I forgot. I, 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 bro, this, this is Cleveland. Since they haven't found that girl, right. and I guess stopped looking for that girl, we figured that girl was met her demise. Right. Hmm. So Barry didn't register with me until I was on the phone. Like, wait a minute, I thought this girl was dead. Yeah. <laughs> thought this girl was dead. He's like a modern Sherlock Holmes. He really is yeah. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Homeboy. What's your name? Sherlock Holmes. Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm after the Hamburglar, <laughs> the newest case I got. So I opened the door a little bit. She had a squeeze out. It was almost like getting Mega McCheese's head through that. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, that shit was like a Ronald McDonald. House of Horrors. <laughs> what, does it, what does it feel like to have been living next to this for a year? See, that's why now I'm having trouble sleep. Oh no! It's only one See, night. Up until <laughs> yesterday, the only thing that kept me from losing sleep was the lack of money. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What's he getting fucking? So now that no. that's going on. And I could have done this last year, not this hero stuff. Just do the right thing. Do you feel like a hero? No, a lot of people. No, 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 bro. I'm a Christian and American, and just like you, we bleed same blood. Put our pants on the same way. Well, it's no. just that yours are a lot lower. Exactly, yours are a lot lower, <laughs> and his has a hole cut in the back. <laughs> I'm just like you, except you're white and I'm black, and you're yeah. rich and I'm poor. You suck dick and I don't. <laughs> uh, other side from all those major differences. <laughs> Put our pants on the same way. It's just that. <laughs> You gotta put that being a coward, and I don't want to get in nobody's business. You gotta put that away for a minute. Cause you know how it for is. Minutes, a lot of people turn the other you way and have some cojones. Keep, keep walking down Bruh, the street. That's all it's about. It's about cojones on this planet. <laughs> cojones. cojones. <laughs> you're telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're telling cojones. me. It is about cojones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. On this planet, on the bridge of my nose, <laughs> <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, fuck it, hey. <laughs> this guy's the story. He's great. Yeah. Have you, has like the FBI said anything about a reward or anything? Because there was that re- there was a reward for finding her. And stuff. I tell you what, you do give it to them. Oh yeah, right. Because if if folks been following this case since last night, and you've been following me since the last night, you know I got a job anyway. Mm-hmm. Just wouldn't pick it up. Paychecks. What did that address say? That that said? I don't have my glasses. I'm blind. 2203 Seymour. Where were some girls living? Right next door to this paycheck. Is he drunk? Oh, man. So, yeah, take that reward and, 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 and give it to the... That, that little girl came out the house and she was crying. And I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, well, it, it, your mama trying to help you, girl. Shut up. I don't know, right? Shut and up. And she said, I want my daddy. And I said, well, who's her daddy? She said, Ariel. Oh. oh yeah, I said, well, how is that possible? Because you ain't, you wouldn't, if you got kidnapped. Oh, he was having sex with you. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that little girl is just. What the? Who now the, we want to hurt you. You felt that, bro? If this would be a different interview, I told you that. If we had known that, man, I'd be facing triple life. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I'm glad it turned out this way. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice, nice ball on it, Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's cool. Trip of life with my <laughs> double patties. <laughs> I'm having oh, trouble sleeping. If I only had a Big Mac bun, I could rest my <laughs> head on. Because <laughs> they're so big and Fluffy. comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. he also was in studio at a Cleveland TV station. You want to try it? It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't as good as the Anderson Cooper, but. You give it a shot, see where it goes. I have a, a more, more, more. But yeah. the biggest, most mysterious question in this whole motherfucker: <laughs> Whatever happened to the McDLT? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was good. There was the cold lettuce and tomato on one side, and the hot patty on the other motherfucker. <laughs> but they done discontinued that, nigga. I don't know what 
the fuck? <laughs> and I checked under her shirt to see if she had any broken McRibs. <laughs> and that's the only thing he wants is to bring that back. Of course. Yeah, that's all he asks. Bring I that back. I love the McDLT. <laughs> bring back the McDLT. And we're square. The cold side and the warm side. The lettuce never wilted because they didn't put the shit on the meat till you was ready to eat up the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this whole problem could have been avoided. Could have been avoided if they just didn't discontinue the motherfucking McDLT. <laughs> yeah, I got some sesame seed buns, y'all. <laughs> So he was on a uh, Cleveland uh, TV uh, program with the polished anchors in studio, and he had a nice brand new lid on. He brought his homies with them, mm -hmm. and we'll uh, give he's this a, a shot. He's got his crew. Yeah. And I opened the door, and that's as you can see on the news, and it wouldn't come. It wouldn't, bro. He had a, a lock on there, and you couldn't open it. And the police had to, when they got there, they finally, you know, got in a jar, and. Uh, Amanda says it's two more girls up there, and I looked at her, and she and we look. I looked at the cop that was in the middle of the street, and he said it's what, and she said yeah, I'm not the only one, mm. and they went up there in about I don't know 15, 20 seconds. They were coming out with Gina and that other girl, and, and, right. and I said, oh my God. Charles, you've done so much, and we are all grateful <laughs> for the fact that you were you there are. then and that you were able to help them. As you go through this, a lot of people were wondering how how the community didn't know. Were there were the windows boarded up? Had you not heard anything in that house? All I would hear was salsa music. That's all we he played naturally. Naturally, naturally. <laughs> naturally. <laughs> See, so yeah. what a racist remark, everyone. But we all are racist. <laughs> you know, all we heard was salsa music. When naturally, naturally, <laughs> naturally, because those people play that music. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's as common as seeing a newborn with pierced ears in this neighborhood, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, <laughs> naturally, that's funny. Oh shit, we all have. We all have our shit. <laughs> naturally, people up against in other car, races. Oh, jumpity, jumpity. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see behind a fuzzy dice, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, though. Of course. Naturally. It was naturally. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> yeah, naturally. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, we didn't even think twice about a bunch of living in the same house. Yeah. You can understand. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. Heard anything in that house? All I would hear was salsa music. That's all we he played, naturally. <laughs> One day, I was playing my music. Rap music, I was too naturally. Loud. He came to my house and told me, turn my music down because I'm disturbing him. At this time, he was a bus driver. I understood that. He had to get up in the morning to go drive the bus. Then, when that came about yesterday, I got girls in the basement. It had going. nothing to do with you getting some sleep. <laughs> That's why I was bothering you. That's why I had to turn my music down. How can I be disturbing you? What are you doing in there? You weren't reading the Bible. Damn. Oh. <laughs> not. One thing I don't know, how did they pick up Ariel? Where was he? Did Ariel, they just wait whatever. for him to come home and I don't fucking know. nap him? They yeah, might have known where he was nap. going, or maybe, you know, they just... Has that even came out? How did they pick <laughs> him up and his two brothers? I don't know. Oh. There it is. There's McDLT. McDLT. <laughs> the hot side and the cold side. Why don't we know that part of this? Maybe they maybe... know every other detail. I don't know. Mm. I'm sure it'll come out. It's probably just some. What, what do they say? He was going to McDonald's or something. I think he was going to McDonald's as well. Was he really? I think so. McDonald's is fucking what's a little less. <laughs> Holy shit! Right? Yeah. Everyone a little eats less McDonald's. Exposure and, here. What was the other food option? McDonald's or the the new goat shit palace that opened up? <laughs> <laughs> we have cold goat shit. We have hot gold shit. We have goat shit that's sliced and diced, and we have melted goat shit. <laughs> you can eat it on. You can eat it on peanut bread or panty bread. We don't know what it's called. Man. <laughs> oh, fucking. <laughs> or McDonald's. Or you can eat it on the folded scrotum of a horse. Goat shit wrapped in folded ho horse scrotum. Or McDonald's. <laughs> I think I'll go with McDonald's. They all get along at McDonald's. Yeah. Uh, perv, sex slaves, and heroes. They all, yeah. <laughs> they all fuel their souls with McDonald's. Yes, we've all been brought together. Jesus. What did they say to you? He told me. He says, you got who? I said, I got, I got nine. I, oh, yeah. He's talking about the 911 operator. Oh, here. right. I got a man of beard uh, with me right now. Send the police. Then his dispatcher said, stop playing on this line. You don't, you don't got her. I said, well, send the police, moron, and arrest me if I'm lying. 
they took they didn't believe me hmm. now now since so many people have been calling him probably through the years and say we got it i understand that you was just a little apprehensive about the call she called too now you got two people calling you 911 at the same time somebody can't be lying how did amanda look when when you finally rescued her fine she was <laughs> trembling happy that she saw someone else other than her she was shaking and if you want a good shit but her main concern <laughs> was that child i didn't know what that baby was crying about did she come out with the child <laughs> yes and i didn't I, and i was like who's this kid yeah. and this, she said well this is his daughter his daughter and i'm like well how she had a grimace you, you on her face you, a, you weren't pregnant <laughs> then and then they will put do the math say oh be damn well it's okay. That's all right. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Thank God that's all right. <laughs> that's that's okay. all right. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> the Cleveland guy. Oh, the stupid Cleveland guy. We understand. Guy. I think the Cleveland guy used to be in New York, too. He looked Did very he? familiar. Yeah. Oh, really? That's why that guy was taking her to the park, though. It's his daughter, too. To the park? Yeah. Yeah, how do you fucking decipher that shit in your little brain? Yeah. 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 They should, you, They're they taking should... daddy away. Oh, good Hit him with Lord. a bat. Just hit him with a bat. Hit the guy with a bat. She's going to have a little bit of baggage <laughs> there to deal with. Yes. A, little bit. a little few daddy issues, perhaps. Daddy oh, was a boy. what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. Why? Ugh. Yeah. How did I come around? Ugh. Lee. That's when Anthony swoops in like a falcon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I smell daddy issues like a fucking, like a vulture smells a carcass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I react much the same way. Pick their... Bones clean of meat. Exactly. <laughs> Till they're legal to vote, then you just drop them somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he talks about being a hero. Ah. Let me ask you this. You touched on this earlier. Has it sunk in just how much attention you're getting? You're, as Aaron was pointing out earlier, you're a twendi- trending on Twitter. The world is talking about what? what you did. Your name is all over the place. It's a hashtag Chuck Ramsey everywhere. Do you have any idea of the attention that you're getting around the world right now? I don't even want it, nor looking for it, bro. That's why when they keep saying I'm a hero, let me tell you something. I'm American, and I'm a human being. A man. hero ain't nothing but a like sandwich, him. as is the living. Big Mac. <laughs> there was a woman in distress. So why turn your back on that? Or that dress. My father would have whooped the hell out of me if he had found out that I was coward out. See, you tough in these bars, but you won't, you, and you beat a woman, but you won't help one out? You're a man, huh? No, I'm the definition of a man, bro. Ah. Were you ever concerned that Ariel would come back? I am a man. Yes. Only because I was doing something that I had no business doing, which was prying his door open on his property. So he had every right to, you know, get in some type of altercation with me because I'm on private property. Even though I'm doing a good deed, you're still on my property. You understand what I'm saying? So I was thinking about him, but at the time... And I, I got, you know, I wish you bring my, my squad with me. To, I got I got an entourage. He's got an entourage. So we, we weren't worried about her anyway. That's why I told the police. If we had known about this, sellies. we would have never got that call. <laughs> it just been some corners coming, putting a white sheet over somebody. And we'd have went on with our life. Because we'd have handled that, bro. You would have handled uh, the situation. She's talking about that. Yeah, I'm a hero. <laughs> I'm all nice and shit, but... This could have gone the other way, motherfucker. Kung fu fighting. We, yeah. <laughs> we got a dispatcher on the line who wants to explain what the fuck they did wrong up there in Cleveland. Uh, uh, Chris in uh, Canada. Hey, man. What's going on? Hey, Chris. <laughs> hey, Tom. Tell Jerry I said hi, okay? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I used to dispatch up in Saginaw, uh, Michigan. And uh, that guy that talked to what's his nuts there, he was all right. But the guy that talked to the girl... They didn't verify the information of what they were saying, like, you know, kidnapping. I mean, how many calls do you get for a kidnapping? You don't. You have one maybe in your fucking career. I, I've never gotten a call for a real kidnapping. So didn't verify the information, didn't uh, check for uh, officer safety. Is anybody else in the house? You know, the guy just fucked up. And the, the problem, part of the problem with all that stuff is, is they're hiring these 7 or $8 dispatchers to work in these major areas and not enough training. And not enough officers to cover the call, so what they're told is, okay, take the call, get the information, get them off, and we'll take the next call, and we'll prior- prioritize the calls and send the police out when they can. It's just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, man, yeah. he should have got a lot more info, you're right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you're putting yeah. the cops in uh, danger. Exactly.
Exactly. They don't know. They what don't know what they're to, to expect when they get to the House of Horror. House of Horrors. House of yeah. Horrors. Wee wee wee. Yep. I just showed in a picture USA Today going with the headline House of Horrors, house of horrors yeah. just like you said. Oh, that'll be uh, big House of Horrors house. Now, what hacks the media are? House of what fucking hacks? House of Horrors. Yeah, going to be a fun Halloween. Chris, thank you. Oh, yeah. Anything else? Yeah, just I mean, again with like, the officer safety. If he if he would have asked her, she would have fucking told him. There's more people in the house instead of you know just going over there talking to her and then finding out there's somebody in the house. They should have fucking you know had officers go to the house and her at the same time. They didn't yeah. know who was in there. They, the guy could have been in there killing the other girls. You know. Right. You're absolutely right, brother. Thanks, Chris. Little insight. On the life of a dispatcher. <laughs> um, they found Ariel uh, at McDonald's. <laughs> they got they really McDonald's. did? Yes. They honestly did? Yes. That's hilarious. No fucking way. <laughs> yes. That's coming in. Jesus. They got him at McDonald's. Man. That area loves their McDonald's. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. Well, again, you know, the goat shit palace is yes, the only other yes, place. Yes, the other, only other option. It really gets a bum rap, the goat shit palace. Yeah. Yes, it does. And, and now uh, Charles Ramsey wants to get to get his hands on uh, the person that did this, mm -hmm. Ariel, I believe. You, you, as you said, you have an entourage, and your your manager over there is saying you have to leave. But let me ask you <laughs> your manager? one last question before you oh, go. You talked about you're not a hero. You were no, doing, you doing no, what you had to do. No, bro. And knowing what you did, knowing the attention that you're getting, knowing how grateful people are that because of you, these ladies are now free. How do you feel today? Oh, I'm uh, I'm all right. I'm a uh, I want to get my hands on him, and then I'll be all right. Put me in the fed uh, over there with him, and I'll be all right. Other than that, I mean, it is what it is, bro. You know, God's smiling on somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Hey, Chuck, thanks, man. Oh, yeah. We appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It. Really appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Good man. luck to you. You too, bro. He gave him that personal touch. Yeah. Hey, hey yeah. Chuck. Good luck, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. I feel, I feel like I won that McDonald's <laughs> Monopoly game they do every so often. I feel like I won, like, the grand prize of the motherfucker. <laughs> How are you feeling that you've rescued these people? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 